Good evening. Welcome back to Practitioners of Love and Light Only. All others I cast out with the appropriate karma do and compounded, compacted, double time. If you are practicing uh, outside of that, okay? This is the only box I approve of. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, we're using the next world tarot because I found it the last time I mentioned it. And I'm just about like, I don't know if fed up is a word anymore. I think it's it lost its luster with, um, you know, sometimes it's like when you're so passionate about something, um, about your standards or whatever, um, uh, that like it almost comes across as anger or easily can. And, um, so like, that's what I'm saying. It, it lost its luster with all of that. Now it's just like pure, if I were to exude that kind of confidence, um, and that type of willpower, it, it would be, it would, um, how do I say it? Angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages, my chakras, my auras, my space, and that of my crew. All right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I think it would... Uh, it's just not helpful. That's what, let's put it there, okay? Um... It becomes unproductive, you know. It's not doing me like any better. So that's like a hindsight realization after um, getting not. <sighs> Once I got this thing done on Friday, it was just like a huge relief. All of a sudden, I started to feel like downtime, and I don't even know. I told you I don't know what downtime is until I. It's like, unless it's like vacation or something. And even that, um, like that downtime is still like excitement to me. Um, not just like, oh, I'm there to get massages and like sightsee and whatever. No, if there's something more to it. Like I never understood why, well, I guess whatever. I'm, that's just one, not what I'm here for talking about vacations. Oh, it was the Empress in reverse. How excellent is this? Okay. Yeah, this is um looking at things objectively, <laughs> like in your highest seating, like not being mad at it. Just I'm ready to move on, and I've just been waiting because a lot of these cards were up on my altar for quite a few moons, and um and there was just so many of them that they started to feel like clutter, and that I couldn't have I didn't really have main focus cards, um. So I just like the energy collectively from one of the last readings that I did. Um, and <clears throat> so now we're back and we're bad and we're looking at these things. Um, the Empress is also like, um, there's an implication of liberty, um, an emulation of it. And also being on vacation. What? For real. With a full moon, like it has manifested. Mm -hmm. So... <clears throat> I guess we could talk about vacation because, um, one of the people that were in the circle of friends, um, that was on this, in the circle of friends, goodness, I had to say were because like, for me, it's like, they're no longer my friends, you know, they're no longer, um, associated with me. So I had to like group them all. Anyway, going back to the story, um, yeah, I, she was saying something about how, um, on vacation, she likes to just like relax and get massages and eat and just sightsee. And <clears throat> I think at the time she was in her like thirties or maybe twenties. I, I don't really remember. Um, but like, I didn't quite understand the, why you would pay X amount of money to go out someplace and just relax and do nothing but um I guess I understand it for people who like have 
fast paced lives. But for her, I didn't quite understand it. It was more of like a bougie feel to know that she just could. And I didn't, I don't understand people sometimes. I really don't, I don't really understand it because I never really had enough money to do those things. And so to save up my money to do that was just like bogus when I could just achieve that here. Like, you know? So, anyway. Whatever rocks your world. Um, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so it's being truthful about it. Not needing an escape. You see, escape is, like, right on the bottom. What it says. I don't know if you could, like, really, really see that. But it says escape on the bottom. <laughs> and so it's um not needing to, like, run away from anything. Um... Like, that, it's so wasteful, energetically speaking. But, um, you know, like, everybody's on different paths. Like, she got divorced before I did, and, you know, she really didn't like me because she felt a sense of competition, and um, she just, I don't know. I think, I, I just had to, like, distance myself because she was maybe almost, like, I don't know, five to ten years younger than I am, or I was, or whatever, still am, but, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, I just, it was like, every time we talked, she, she would try to bully me with her intellect, um, her book smarts, when I realized at this point that I'm far more intelligent than she is when thinking through the depths of, and applications of studies, like, she can memorize a lot for sure, but when it comes to the, um, she just, she doesn't have it like me. And I don't, well, I never tried to have it like her, but I, I really don't like memorizing things like that. Like, I just, I don't like the robotic motions of life. So, you know, <clears throat> to each their own. So, but it was just a reminder how, like, uh, it's, I remember, like, okay, on TikTok, on, um, like, the final part of one of the series that I had, like, the little short series, um, about, like, the next big thing, I realized that, um, gosh, angels, I forgot, because I'm kind of embarrassed to call it out, I mean, like, I just felt it <laughs> for a second, um, but it was, how do I say it? I forgot. I, I got really, it was a lot of emotion. That's what I remember. And I just remembered she, she made me feel, she made me out to feel very stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, very beneath her. And I don't know what that, how that connected to the reading, but it did. And I don't remember how, but I'll, maybe you can remind, remind me, angels, if, if it's that important. <laughs> I don't remember. Excuse me. Um, what was it? Because that's a little bothersome. Oh, about um, how many things I had to let go of. Yeah, and it was like sad for me because because it was a lot. But then when I think about it now, I'm just really proud of myself for letting go of like a conglomerate um, amount of bullshit energy. When people, when, when like somebody makes you feel like, you know purposefully has the intent to make you feel like shit and is part of a group that condones it, it like in any facet that's and and you see that happening not just to you but to other people in the mix you know how much bullshit that is i am so proud of myself so happy for letting that go i don't have to deal with that anymore i don't have to accept that in like do you know how amazing that is to me energetically? 
Because I don't have to listen to people complain, even if it, it's just like su- trying to come off as a joke or, you know, like... <sighs> casual roasts, you know, it's not, I'm so glad, the queen of cups in reverse, the throne of emotion, okay, queen of cups in reverse, so I guess, objectively speaking, it's looking at things, um, because I'm, I don't think this is about a like, lack of confidence. This is, I mean, what I'm saying, the content is, I'm speaking of otherwise, but it's looking at things, you know, standing apart from the situation, and I'm much better off over here, like, in the um, underground type of energy, where, like, I don't have to interface with so much, like, time, so many time wasters, and, like, energy siphoners, and just, like, you know, being around that, it really taints your energy. Like, you don't know whose is whose. And, you know, it's just, it's gross. It's gross, and I'm so glad I'm out of it. I'm so glad. I don't have to subject myself to that anymore. That's what I'm saying. So let's, let's, let's. Oh, one thing why I decided to start to get back on here was, at least tonight, was... <clears throat> That I heard through the grapevine that there are employers or recruiters or whatever um, that are, I don't know if questioning me is quite the, like, pinpointing it, but more like, or, I know it's not having second thoughts about me, but it's like, they're not sure about me. <laughs> and at first... Like, my initial reaction to that internally was, you know, being offended by it or just kind of nonchalant, like, you know what, um, if you're not interested, it's okay, it's not my loss, um, it's, you know, that's just putting me on reserve for the, the ones that are correct within my energy, because to be within the realm of uncertainties, um, just through hearsay or, um, you know, by your own triggers, it's like, no, like, I know face value with all that I accomplished, um, and how truthful I am, how honest I am, um, like, why would you want anything less than substance, you know, like, someone who's reliable, and someone who, you know, like, so it's okay, like, I'm, I'm not gonna be mad about it, I, I realized, I'm not supposed to control everything or or anyone. I mean, that's part of the whole process of elimination. You know? Um, I was going to figure out, like, I was going to come over here and, um, you know, ask Spirit for reasons why um, people should not doubt me. It's like, speaking of time wasters, you know, like... Come on. Come on, Tina. The two of cups in reverse. Why are so many coming in reverse? Okay, so we have the king of swords in upright and then judgment like that it cut to. Okay, so there's discord, disharmony. But then I find that within like my own my own um private quarters basically. All of these cards are in reversal. Um I think the what do you want to say about that yeah so it's releasing the deceit the lies and you know deceivers all the people that are motioned to do that um and it and it's like i think this whole two of cups thing in reversal is the lack of harmony is um you know the shake-up it's just like panning for gold, basically. <laughs> you know, um, some slip through the cracks, and and that's good. You know, the, some some of those granules, you know, slip through the cracks, and that's fine. And we're looking at how to, um, um, it's like the natural order, the organic process of discernment. Like you get to see, um, 
like it clears some things off the plate. That's that's what that does. So because of that, we have the King of Swords in upright here, the Throne of Knowledge, followed by, um, you know, the Sandwich of um, Judgment. This is very good. Because you have clarity to what your karma is, like what you're supposed to be doing. Like what, I don't know if that's, Yeah. Yeah, clarity to why the why things are the way they are. And you know, the king of swords, I wouldn't say is like angry. You see, he's a handyman, he's a fix it person. Businessman, but and like serious about getting things done. Um mm -hmm. and being that for like at the port for others to um, come by and, you know, just, and he's there to help. That's, that's basically what that is. Again, we have the full moon in the background. What's on the top of the, or top two, I guess, the moon <laughs> and the four of pentacles. Are you kidding me? What the, heck? I did not mean to pick up those two guys, but the deck wanted me to lift them. Okay. So we have a moon card, the full moon here. Um, we just got through with a full moon in Virgo. It was a super moon, so I'm just buying time using the last very bit to the tail end of the energy of um, this cycle. Because, um, like, since I let go of that on Friday, was that the... Yeah, it was like, that was a very, like... Three days before and three days after the full moon, still just as potent. Um, you know, that's like the bulk of its potency, you know, and it's a rule of thumb. So then um, I figured I was supposed to just take it easy today, just not really put things on the agenda that were so serious. And, um, and it wasn't the other polarity either. It was just... Um, I had two cookies today to reward myself. I just had one <laughs> pre-lunch and pre-dinner. It's kind of late, but that's okay. Um, something told me that there's still, you know, energies today being the 11th. So... Part of it was like not taking things so seriously, you know, to satisfy the inner child. But you hear that traction gaining. And you know, with the Four of Pentacles here, um, it's like a girl that's a DJ. Some of you guys might, you know, be like DJs, music affiliated or producers, that kind of thing. We have Archangel Sandalfong coming through. Um... But it's about the ownership of what you um, make of, you know, what what you're hearing, um, what you're experiencing. Um, yeah. Mhm. Mm so, well, that's that's good. So, um, because this is I don't know why this is peaking up, but um, judgment. Um, has the Three of Swords peeking up over here. Is that the card beneath it? Oh, that's why. Okay, it was the card. It kind of slid out just because it was the card beneath it. But, you know, the Three of Swords, like all that we've gone through, we're no longer, like, despising it anymore. Like I said, it la lost its luster. Um, yeah, but that that's... We realize <laughs> in some that it... That, the chain of events is what led us to this new awareness, this new piece of wisdom, um, or several of it. And it's, um, situations like this, um, are confidence boosters because you're approaching so many more things that, um, most don't survive. Most wouldn't even dare approach. So, you know, without looking at comparability, it 
Like we've come a long way learning about ourselves, about what we can do, what stifled our energy, but more so like what our points of resolution were, how we generated that and how much easier it became as we, you know, um, practice that. Like my life is so much better. And I can say that it it's despite you know, having like zero in my checkings account, having no savings account whatsoever, you know, even with bills that are due like next week or not even less in less than a week and not yet having another job like that's that can be scary. Of course, the two of cups over here, but you know, like I'm not going to let it kill me off, you know, I uh, just, I'm not going to get angry at a recruiter or an employer for second guessing me or not even like considering me. I just know how energy works. And if someone sees my worth, then cool. You know, otherwise I'll save my energy for me. It's like, why am I going to go like begging or schmoozing around? Um, to put myself in a situation that really did kill me inside. Like, I told you, I could easily get a sugar daddy or several or, like, schmooze my way around and whatever. But, like, no. No. I'm not, no, I don't respect those people, I'm not gonna, no, oh look, I just cut the um, cards to put the four of pentacles away, and guess what, look, it's the freaking sun, the sun again has arrived, and because of that ownership, because I, I'm standing strong. That's the inner child right there. Achieved. Unlocked. <laughs> the high priestess in reverse was right beneath that. Very interesting. I like it. I like it. We're going to put it right there. I'm going to cut the other side for the moon. And the page of wands. Yeah. The home of fire. Okay. Do you see? This is a rebel. Mm -hmm. Rebel girl. Mm -hmm. So it's manifesting. Like it's, we're starting something new. And if it's not with, you know, um, this crew or that crew, then great. But you know what I realized? Oh my goodness. Backtracking. Um, Looking at previous jobs, um, at this one, this at this particular one where um, I was, you know, heavily engaged in marketing, and um, I was wearing like several different hats, like doing like four different jobs. I was, gosh, I was, <laughs> don't even know what to freaking tell you. Like so many jobs. Um, I carried out, in addition to being an executive assistant, um, to answering to 60 staff members um, for a global company. Um, I, in the amid, amidst acquisitions and transitions and a few layoffs towards the end, um, I also was carrying out the marketing, um, this, what is it, marketing specialist position? um while she was out on maternity leave and then um when she came back I, you know, I was told that I was going to before she was before she left I was told it was lies they were lies because when she came back she she got the promotion <laughs> isn't that insane to come back from maternity leave Somebody else doing your work and you, <laughs> that's so crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. I was doing, um, 
What else? The digital marketing specialist position. <laughs> Gosh. Par partnering with a global insights, you know, manager, director, whatever. Um, so I was doing a lot of technical things. And then um, doing internal audits, as well as the... Um, <laughs> like the marketing presentations room and like, you know, trade shows, special events, all of that. And I was doing, um, uh, I headed the um, emergency, um, like business continuity plan. And then I was, what else? What else did I do? The menial stuff, all with it, like the interruptions of um, being the front desk person. Like, there's like so much. You, do you know how crazy that is? That's really, really crazy. <laughs> and so at that job, there was this um, one person. Like, stop me, angels, spirit, like, if I'm not supposed to say anything. But I think um, th it was just insane. <laughs> this manager, or I think he he was a director. I can't, it was, like, so far back. Like, it, um, he, uh, he majored, like, he got, I think he has his master's degree. But he, in, he has it in psychology and um, marketing. <gasps> and, um... I've been at like the many meetings and I saw him, you know, perform amongst different audiences. And I'm like, oh, that's all it takes to be a manager. Like I understood all of it and was able to contribute to the conversations and, um, and like their field tests and everything more, like far more than anybody else in the room. And he saw that, but because there was something political going on, he couldn't, um, he did, he couldn't like acknowledge me, um, as upfront. So, dude, like, but when I saw that, like, I understood more of it, um, than those that preceded me um, within that company and that I could do what he was doing. Like, I understood it so easily. I'm like, that's all it takes to be a manager or a director or whatever? Like, dude, I could do that and not be an asshole. I could do that and be fucking awesome. It's not just not being an asshole. You know how crazy that is? Dude, so I applied to a um, a couple of managerial positions or a few of them, um, but you know, like I never had that. With, oh, I had I was a director, you know, for a good six to seven years, but it seems to be like nobody ever wants to acknowledge that because of the way I look or something. I I don't know. I I don't know. So what do we have here? It's the Knight of Pentacles muted. Methodical approach. So since this is muted, it's like kind of softened here. Because I internally, I've always had this methodical approach to you know, following the rules, and but also doing it by hard work, you know, like the work will show for itself. And of course it does, but that's not all that's within like the political for forum, the formula even. So they're saying like, I'm good with muting this energy. There's no longer a methodical approach. It's just be me. And I have a whimsical approach. And that's good. That's good. Because... You might as well enjoy um, how you um, engage with your work. Mm -hmm. Because they can't take that away from you. Mm -mm. 
Okay. Ooh, this fell up against the box. What is this? Oh, it's the Three of Pentacles. <gasps> this is a big box. Do you understand what's coming? It's like, it's going to be like Precious Carbo. It's going to be packaged. Um, it's, it's my benefits package. That's what's coming right over here. It fell right in front. Of the, it fell right there. So my benefits package is going to be quite comprehensive. So I'm not worried about who's going to decline me. Because what that means in all actuality is that they're going to forgo the blessings of having me. They are. I know it. Like, I know it. And they will be very sorry that they missed out. Mm -hmm. Because they're not going to be able to match the other offer that I'm going to get. They're not. See? It says the team right there. That's crazy. Anyway. That's what's happening. You just watch. You watch. Anybody even within my field, within my industry, go back. Go back to when, um, you know, go ahead and do a comparability test. Go ahead and compare my work against theirs. Not to say that I'm better than anybody, but look at the inputs. Look at the trends of how I approach my work um, um, and, uh, to, and to see, just test out. Um, to see if anybody was giving accolades to their peers um, way back when, when I said, like, why doesn't anybody do this? Or, <laughs> or doing positive affirmations. Now there's positive affirmation, um, like, <laughs> and playlists um, within spirituality that, like, I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> I'm a money maker. You have no idea. Like, I sometimes I, I have to second guess it myself. I think about it and I'm like, you know, say they pay this amount, okay, and they have me there, you know. Am I selling myself short by doing this type of work um, with them knowing how much value that they're getting? Like, I... I don't know, really, until it actually plays out. I mean, I know that I wouldn't just get comfortable and stop there. So I know for a fact that I'm not really selling out. Um, but, you know, at a certain point, you have to draw the line once, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just trying to live my best life. That's it. <laughs> Regardless of what's in my pocket or what's in the account or what's not, you know. I never wore this dress today. And it's, I think it's really cute. It's cute. They told me to wear it. It's cute. <laughs> um, I don't know why. But I think, like, it's to kind of soften up my attitude. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I can go spirit saying effing anywhere. You can do whatever the f you want, Tina. Then take a jet plane here, take a jet plane there. But honestly, when you when you're able to astral travel, when you're able to like you can go anywhere you dream of, Tina. That's that that is just the bottom line. Time is nonlinear, so You've already been there and done that, or, you know, up ahead, you will have already done it. Done did it. This is the roots of the earth. Mm hmm Hmm. Interesting.
I don't really, I, that like shut me up. I don't, <laughs> so, um, you know, as far as like, I don't know. I don't, I, I guess I don't feel offended anymore. This is all to say that I don't feel offended by it. It's just either you see it or you don't see it. And yeah. Like, I'm just using my time wisely to do whatever I can to better my situation. So, other people's opinions are really, like, they're non-essential to my journey. Other than the fact that, like, I just gotta keep on moving. Oh, look, it's the devil on the bottom. What is it labeled as? Earth Capricorn, the new order of the ages. This is dissolve the empire undertaking. Hmm. Oh my gosh. It's like the KKK, like shaking hands with the, uh, with the politician and a jury seated right behind them, like watching all of it. Then down below, we see jaws, you know, like coming up and like, you know, trying to snatch onto the money. Then down below, you know, children, like just like a family life, you know, a regular family life. And torpedoes um, separating the family from, you know, these um, low life agreements. Hmm. What do you want to say about that spirit? What's beneath that? Ten of Cups, safety. That doesn't make sense to me. Oh, I think things are about to turn around, like, quickly. Like, if if the devil stands before the Ten of Cups, it, it's like, that's, they're, they're kind of, they're, it's like an illusion of a gatekeeper to our absolute happiness. And that's not true. So I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to put it in Page of Pentacles. Yeah. We've got to start somewhere. It's a home of ideas. All right. So it's about being solutions oriented, even at a page level, intern status or um, novice or, you know, entry level. Um, you know, we're learning. We all have to learn at, um, to, to, it's, I don't know, starting at the bottom. I don't know. I've tried that. But it's like, you know, <laughs> I've been like an admin for like an executive assistant, whatever, at that level for so long. Like, do you hear that? There's ambulances. It's like when you say like you started from the bottom and like to everybody has to start somewhere and everybody like starts from the bottom or whatever. That's bullshit. They're saying that's like red alert bullshit. You don't always have to start there, Tina. It's like, do you hear that? The honks also overlapping. They said, you don't have to do that, Tina, because what, if you've tried it so many times that you realize that people, um, treat you as, um, that's not your, just your start. That's just where you're at, right? So, you know, like, I, I've got to say honestly, um, what I've submitted for was basically what I'm used to doing too. But then, you know, over the past week, I realized, I looked at the, <laughs> the, um, responsibilities of like all of this, you know, all of these like managerial things. And I'm like, if I, dude, I've done that before. I can still do it. Like I, I can learn, I can do that. I can do that. And, um, and so I was like, fuck it. I applied for it because the last job that I was in, there were a bunch of, um, like millennials who had managerial positions, specialist positions, um, head you know positions and I was thinking like you know that's it's crazy for me to dumb myself down with like how fucking awesome I am 
even without these gifts and practice, even without knowing what I could do with all of this stuff, I was so fucking awesome. <laughs> like, I outshone them back then. With all of this stuff that I'm doing here. Insane. It's insane. So, um, anything else that you want? Do you want to end on anything, Spirit? I, I just, I just was doing a little chat, and you know. oh dear. Okay, that's that's a bit. But we have the Six of Cups in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse, and the Page of Cups in reverse. Uh-uh. That doesn't sound... That doesn't look fantastic. But, um... What do I want to say about this? I think there's an awakening and a rising that, um... I just have to give it back up to myself. You know, as far as, like, people... You know, the Six of Cups is, um... Kinship energy. Okay? So, um... You know, I'll I'll take what I can get when it comes to employment but like I know I know what I'm worth <laughs> so that'll that'll be my driving force okay um and then so we have six of cups in reverse it's saying that I do have an underground crew I do like at face, you know, one-to-one -one level, you know, there's no one, like, straight up out there giving me accolades, like, tagging me, commenting on any of my stuff, saying you're, that's nice, or you're wonderful, or <laughs> nobody, nobody, or, oh, I have, I, I've dealt with that, too, <laughs> I've, nobody, zero, you know what that tells me? It tells me that I have such, like, major competitors out there that I don't even know that they exist. But they do. And they're casting spell work to um, mess with the mindsets um, of my viewers to think, like, to bypass me or to fear me or whatever. But, dude... It's okay. I have underground people, and it's okay. It's going to be okay because there's a bigger picture where people need to preserve their privacy. So, like, I, I'm not I'm not mad. It's okay. I just, um, I am keeping a very close eye, <laughs> just like in the back of my mind, subconsciously, um, of people who are absolutely fake that will only come to surface when I put out those when the divine gives me buzzwords to put out there that are authentic, that are true for my, for my readings, for mine, mm -hmm, my fortunes. But, um, you know, I'm keeping an eye on how close people get, you know, when um, my spiritual funds are banging. Like they've never seen such a thing. Yeah, so it's okay. And uh, so, um, Page of Cups in Reverse, um, yeah, these are super secret admirers. Super secret admirers, okay. Um, something hurt them, though. But they put it beneath them, and they're stronger than that. Or that's what's happening right now. So good for them. They're like, they're not in their best position right now. I can see like... Yeah. And they could easily trip up, but they're not. <laughs> they're not. Their environment shows that, like, depicts um, um, you know, possible trip ups. But they're not. They're staying, like, kind of still. Preserving, preserving their energy. I may throw. What's going on with that? 
Okay. So, um, I'm getting like these are my lone wolves. Hmm. Yeah, yes. Okay, the full card Yonkers, Nowhere. Huh. What does this mean? This is like sitting at a bus stop. And you're waiting for the next journey. Okay. Yeah, that's what I feel like. I, I I could like close my eyes and I could picture myself like kind of feeling like I'm just waiting for the next thing. Um so anyway. Oh, and I gotta say, when you're having your chocolate chip cookies and you know like that it forebodes or foretells or you know, something and 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 you say, to heck with it. Part of this is a reward. And you have two of them. Like, it, not back to back, but like, just like I did today. You got to enjoy every single bit of it, okay? You know that rice test where you speak bad and, and then you like speak, or like even water test, frozen water test when you speak bad or you speak good? You got to speak good. You got to. So I enjoyed every single bit of it. And I do not feel bad for it. That's why I showed you part of my dress. So you could see it. Look. I still look like a million bucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just know. I don't feel bad about the way I look. Oh, look. The Ten of Cups is right there. I didn't mean to pick that up. But. Okay. So we have Two of Swords. And be yeah. Between the Fool. We have the Two of Swords. Like. Ain't nothing. Gonna bring me down. And nothing gonna disturb me. Okay. From the way I choose. To feel. To be. That's just. That's just. That's just how it's gonna go. That's gonna. Ha that's how it's gonna go. Look. It's the Four of Wands right behind them. That's Home and Hearth. That's self-actualization. That's somebody playing their. What is it? Um. Accordion. And saying. Like. I enjoy my music. Okay. It's good. But then the Ten of Cups. That to have that sandwich between the Ten of Cups, that's great. You see you see what kind of trade off we made? We fucked with the devil like we fucked off the devil. We told the devil to F off. That's what we did. Mm-hmm. And F off they did. Look what look what the new bottom of the deck is you know how amazing that is i'm gonna put it there pal the top of the deck is the ace of cups it's wonderful this is wonderful yeah let's put it there cheers <laughs> Um, where is it? Okay. I'm curious. What is it? Okay, let's put the Ace of Cups right on top of there. Okay, A was up, but the first one was O, second one was S, and A was third, but that was the only one turned up. Um, oh my gosh, that's so freaking crazy. You know what? Okay, I was looking for like something, like even an acronym. You know what SOA is? It's a substitution of attorney. Do you know how freaking crazy that is? That's so crazy. I think that's the last thing that I really had to let go of that was like, no, no, you're not, you're not going to take over my life, over my bank accounts and over like my fucking sanity. Okay. No, that they, anybody affiliated with the justice system fucking with my life. 
no, attempting to fuck with my life or has attempted to fuck with my life are really going to get it. They are. Um, because that's what I was told. <laughs> my team tells me when to like bail out. And every single time that I have, maybe for the exception of like one little tweak from one of the last employers, um, they've all like, mm, yeah, yeah. They all felt not just the loss of my presence, but a lot more coming to them. Okay, so we have R I W E N Z R T O I T O I N P E V W E W T T R. Um, I see winter. That is insane to me. S O A. Like I'm like okay. There's nothing else that it could be. It's. Or just. That's what this cup is. That's partially what this cup is for. That was the last. That was like. That was just so. Mm, that was so good. Okay. Um. I see printer. I see. Let's find names. I see Aaron. Ernie. Serena, again, could be with an E or an I. Vinny. Oh. Um. Art. Short for Arthur. Um. Rover, like Red Rover, Red Rover, send somebody on over or whatever, you know, somebody's name over. And then the person runs off from one chain to the next and tries to break it and to join with the other. Otherwise, he has to go back or she, whatever. So. Hmm. I see Pinto. I see Pint. Pinterest. I don't, I have an old Pinterest account, but I haven't added it to it in like years, probably a decade. Like, I, I don't know. Pinterest to me is like the ether is brought down, like, so it's just this kind of lifeless form that doesn't really do anything, you know. I see iron. There's other names here, though. Warner. Goodness. Hmm. Winnie. Mm -hmm. um. Ritter. That's somebody's last name. Like John Ritter. Um, he was in Threes of Threes a Company, yeah. Um, it's kind of a goofball bachelor, but like always try to make the best out of things, you know. Even at like a non spiritual like form of life. Um, hmm. Ron, um, wrist, I don't know what's about the wrist, but, um, 
um, trying again. Hmm. That's, that's big. That's big energy. Um. Invent. I like invent. We could do that. Um, Annie. Arnie. Arpita? No, no. There's only one A. Hmm. Ian, Tori, Ryder, Review, Review I think is big. So, I mean, we could always look for names. Um, but, okay, review, and then we, trying is another big one here. Mm, we'll leave the, mm, I don't know, I think that's fine, you can do it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Tina. Um, I guess we could have done repeat, but we're not, we're not doing, no repeats, okay? No. We have Zoe. Um, Ozone. Siri. Um... Mm. I don't realize we had so many O's here. Holy smokes, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Opie. Um. Orion again. Why do we keep getting that? Um, I, I mean, like, I'm not mad at it because I feel like when it comes to my next steps, my, you know, my journey as far as um, just advancement. I feel like they have a heavy hand at that. There's some kind of connection that I have with them or that they have with me. It's got to be, you know, congruent. It's bilateral. It's, it's got to be. I mean, it's, I don't know what to say, but I'm going to leave that there trip um stir you know sometimes we stir the pot but it's okay it's okay mm. Else. Who else? Um, there's another, there's other names in here that like are. Um, there's other names in here. I know it. Um, Anita, no, there's only one A.
Why am I not finding my things here? It's annoying. Well, actually, hold on. Ah, oh, that's what I needed. I am burning pinion right now. Sweet. Oh, it's very nice. Very nice. It burns very quickly, though. Okay, let's get back to this now. <laughs> oh. Some of you might be from the trans community. I don't know. I That's the first time I've gotten that here. But this is a very, like, open-minded deck. So, um, it you know, it does kind of infer, um, that energy, um, just like forward mindedness. Um, but it's not like fad. It's not about the fad. It's about reality and facing it as it is. Um, um, and still like finding, um, like it not being so, um, cumbersome despite all of its, um, hostilities. Um, that have been built up over time. Okay. Transport. What? Yes. Transpire. Okay, I have to take, um, uh, trine out, but because this energy here. Oh, gosh, what is it? No, it's transport. They told me it's transport. I've been getting it. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. <laughs> For real. It's so crazy to me. But it's cool. <laughs> what am I going to tell you? Hmm. Um. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Um. <laughs> Size. Let me see here. I mean, Oz, it could. Okay. 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 Let's see, we have a few consonants left and a couple of vowels. So where does that go? Yeah, Orion is big right now. Um, has big, big energy. Um, I was told that not all of it is like good energy, but the ones that are directed to me, towards me, I know are good. Like, I know they are. You yeah. know? I just know they are for me. They are with me anyway. Mm. Mm. What else have we got? Uh, right. Yeah, because of what I've written, what I've described. There's something about manifestation and my connectivity. But 
as I have written. Mm -hmm. Things are following accordingly. It's, it's going according to plan. So I have Newt, 10, went, or um, wet. Oh gosh, it's like a wet signature. What? Yeah. Or net, collectively what I've written. But I really feel like, you know, wet signatures are um, hold like the highest um, standing. Like when you're... Like you say you're at a bank and um, there's a mess up on the amount or some kind of scribble. You have to give your wet signature as far as at least providing your initials there. Um, having your wet signature is the authenticity to your mark. It's like your, your active, your live stamp. Nothing can, like a stamp can duplicate itself, but your signature um, in its exactness, no. No. So, Newt. Um, that might be a spirit totem that we might look at. Mm -hmm. um, but there's, oh, it's a review, like in review. Huh. Oh, okay. So my star families are reviewing my um, journey, like <laughs> things collectively with me. Oh my gosh, I get to do so many wonderful things. So like this earthly stuff going on here. Of course, like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll make, you know, I, I, I'll figure things out. It's, but like to let that burden me when I'm going to be doing things that people can't even freaking, that don't even have the option to pay for that or no matter how much money they have, they can't pay for what I am about to um, embark on. That's so wonderful. <laughs> they said it was going to be excellent. So, anyway, write, transpire, or transport. So, what signature? Oh, and it's all about this new journey, getting your feet wet. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So, that's amazing. I'm excited to see some more information. I don't want they say that this is safe enough to share with you because, oh, ah, uh, here, I right, right to 930. Okay. Okay. That was high pitched ringing in my left ear. And that was, that was so loud that it was like, you know, so on point that it was, um, I said it was bright instead of loud. <laughs> and I was trying to say that it was safe to convey, like say this to you. Like it might be a little dangerous telling you these things, but um, that's, I was warned, that's all that I get to say to you. That's all that I will say. I'm going to listen to my besties from the beyond. Because the angels there are in it, on it. The angels of light and love anyway. So, yeah. You know, you either see my worth or you don't. And you either get to um, collaborate or you don't. <laughs> That's all that I can say. All right. Um, this is excellent. But the one thing that I've got to tell you is once I move on... I'm, I'm not to move back. I'm not supposed to go back to those previous positions. I'm not. They told me. That's part of the... I don't know if you would say rules. Angels, you know? You can always cut in whenever. Um, let me see here. Let's see this new plate over here. I'm going to get one more because this is exciting. Let me tell you. I will use this. Okay. Get one more. Mm. Let's say about this job journey down here. Okay. <laughs> oh shoot! Fell right off. It's already an E. And it's in reverse, or like kind of like that. Okay. So this is. Oh my gosh, it's funny because when I look at this, it's like a toothy smile, like kind of like buck teeth, you know. So um, 
Oh, this is Ostara, the bunny rabbit teeth, you know? Um, Easter. Mm -hmm. So, um, interesting. Ostara is coming up. We have U R Y G R S A M T um, O C F K Z I O S E N V E. I see one Z. I see steak, like S T A K E and E A K. Okay, yeah. Um, yams, okay. Goya. G goy gyoza. <laughs> Giza, like the Giza strip, I think. Um, May, okay. Is May still spring? I think it's still spring. Yeah. Um, rites, R I T E S, like the rites of passage. Um, stem, mm -hmm. okay, R Rocky, okay, that's somebody's name, but you know, it could also be Rocky, like the path, you know, there's just a lot of rubble, but it doesn't have to insinuate that you're going to trip up, but just know that there's like a lot of like pebbles and, you know, it's, it's a journey that's kind of adventurous. Mm, I like that. A lot of earthiness out and about, like, different. That's exciting. Okay. Um, vines. Mm -hmm. Very abundant. Um, toys. Um, so, and story. Oh, my gosh. Story. Are you kidding me? we got to put that there. Um, but there is playtime here. Um, implied. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Martyr? What? No. Uh, one of the songs that was just recently channeled on my TikTok was I'm a Lady. And she was talking about um, she's no longer, she's not going to be a martyr for nobody. Or was it, no, they're not going to make a martyr out of me. Something like that. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Um, I don't know what CSR stands for, but that's, oh, that's customer service rep. I don't, I don't know. Um, what else here? So look at, let's look at more names. We have Tina. Oh, we have G-O-V-T. We have the government here. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay. We have Ryan. Mike. Gary, Stephen, Eric, with or without the K. So we got the C there. Vane. Oh, somebody's mad. I'm like, I'm seeing veins, like either somebody is doing like whatever kind of like blood drug or like they're so like mad that their veins are popping out. Um, it could be also, you know, a vein is like reaching into your bloodline. So like with what I'm doing, it's, you know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna involve my heart. <laughs> okay. Um Ernie. We see no my even say. Um Maggie but with only one G. Hmm. Chris, but without the H. And so it could be C or the K, but there's no H. We have Ross, Rosie, Ron.
Ryu. <laughs> That's Street Fighter, dude. Okay. <laughs> Vaughn. With or without the G. Yeah, we have V-O-N and we have V-A-G-N. Is that right? Hold on. Anyway. What else have we got here? Because there's other names. Um, Siren, Serene, Serena. Mm. What else? What else? Femi, F-A-M-I-E. I think um, she was um, Phoenix in the X-Men, the movie. She was in a bunch of other movies, too. Very pretty. Mm, I'd say, you know, she's like, almost like Russian. She has that, she's very sharp features. Beautiful, though. Um, like, sharp, elegant, but very, like, you know, very fits very much the dark energy. Um, Stooges, <laughs> three. Oh no, we don't have the H. Okay, but we have Tress, so still like, um, someone like with a Spanish kind of background. It's like in a pair of three, like instead of the three Musketeers or the three Stooges. I don't know why, but we have Stooges here mm -hmm. and Tress. <laughs> um. Um, we have Gina, um, we have Sorry, mm. yeah, someone <laughs> apologizing after the fact when they get their, as soon as they get their karma, that's what's happening. We have Curry. Like Steve Curry. Oh, that's interesting because Steve is in here too. We have Gone. Goner. What? Oh my gosh. We got we got the death card as really like implying death, like burial. We see money. And Moni, like M O N I E. 